Hi, I'm Kevin Austin with the Not For Sale campaign. And uh, we're a huge supporter of Rabbis for Human Rights. We want to partner together to end modern slavery in our lifetime. Can you tell me a little bit about the work that you do? Not For Sale is uh, smart activism. We want to create uh, programs and platforms and ways for people to be involved in any, any way that they can to end modern slavery, human trafficking, and that's uh, bringing people from all sorts of different faith backgrounds and business backgrounds, and whether you're soccer moms or you're a rabbi, whatever you are, you can do something to end human trafficking. Can you give us some of the facts about human trafficking? Mm -hmm. They estimate that there are between 27 and 50 million slaves in the world today more than at any other time in history. And in fact, some people think that there are more slaves in the United States today than there were at the time of the Civil War. And what constitute, when you say a slave, can you tell me what that means? Yeah, slavery is people that are held by force, unable to walk away, and um, doing something for which they're not being paid or something that they don't want to do. And what are the profiles of uh, these slaves within the United States? Yeah. You know what? Slaves look like a wide variety of things. Sometimes you don't see them. Uh, they can be a hairdresser that looks really, really beautiful, well kept up, nice clothes, but they're held in bondage, and then they're, they're braiding hair 18 hours a day. Or it could be a child laborer out in the field picking, picking tomatoes. Or it could be a sex worker. Um, it just has a wide, wide variety of different ways that it looks. And what we need to do is we need to put these on put on our glasses, look around, and see that we're contrib to contributing to human trafficking in a wide variety of ways. And how responsive uh, is the U.S. government to human trafficking and slavery within its own borders? Yep. The U.S. government is as responsive as we are in our activism. The more that we are active, the more that we cry out, the more that we vote, the more that we speak up for the least of these, the more that our government responds. So they're doing some great things, and there's a lot of room for improvement. What are some of the areas that there's room for improvement? Um, most of our states need to improve in the laws that they have in order to protect the survivors and to punish the perpetrators. Um, in a lot of our states, we don't have really good laws. Um, we also need to clean up our supply chains because it's not just about sex slavery. It's also about how we contribute every day in what we buy, what we wear, what we eat to slavery that's going on all around us. As consumers, is there a way to better know that information? Yes. As a consumer, you can find out more about the supply chain by um, checking out the Free to Work website. And there's an app, if you have an iPhone, Free to Work app, and you can click on that and you can check out the different products and see what kind of grades they get, if they get an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. Well, thank you very much. Yep.